Hi everyone, welcome to Danny Elephant in the Room. I'm Danielle. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for sticking with me for these first few awkward videos while I get this YouTube thing down. Today I have a tutorial for you guys. I've been addicted to pin collecting and I thought it'd be fun to show you my ideas for making your own cork board and it's going to be themed to the Lion King. So I'm going to get behind the camera and show you all the supplies and we're going to get started. We're going to make our foam board styled from the Lion King, the scene where Simba is walking across the log with Timon and Pumbaa. So I'm going to cut out all my stencils. My Timon and Pumbaa stencils came out a little funny because my printer was low on ink but I pre-cut those. So when I went to print these I used the picture that I'm going to insert at the bottom of this video and I blew them up so Simba was full page, Pumbaa was full page, and Timon was a 5 by 7 size. So we're gonna just start by cutting out our stencils. Once our stencils are cut out, we're going to flip the foam board because if you look at this foam board, it's cork board on one side and just regular foam on the other. So we're going to be cutting on this side. So because we're going to want Simba to be following Timon and Pumbaa, we're going to be putting them backwards so that when we flip it, they're facing the right direction. Okay, I repositioned my camera. So like I said, we're going to place our stencils down and then we're gonna cut for the we're gonna make a line for where the log is gonna be and I made little marks to make it eight inches. Let me place them nicely. It's okay if their feet go under the log a little. We do want them to sit nicely once we cut out the negative space. I'm also going to use the ruler to make sure they are centered. And now that they're positioned, I'm going to trace around them. Okay, so once we have all our stencils traced, we can take them off the board and then we're going to begin cutting. This is a blade I'm going to be using. It's a Fiskars brand. It's supposed to be for heavy duty cutting and I also picked it up at Joanne Fabrics. So we're going to start cutting the log and then cutting around each of the characters. Okay, so now that I have everything cut, I'm just going to go in with this tan marker I have and fill in some of the little white spots that were on the board. Okay, 
So I think that's good for all the touch-ups. Okay, so for our last step, I'm going to put this picture hanging kit on the back of the foam board. I picked this up at Joann's as well. You just screw these two little pieces in, put the wire across the back, and it even comes with the nail for the wall. Okay, so I'm going to measure to make sure I put the screws at an even spot. This is only 8 inches wide, so I'm going to put each of them 2 inches down. I'm only going to put them down on this part because it's going to be the heaviest part of the board. Here it is. It's nice and hanging on my wall here in my bedroom. Uh, I'm noticing you could see a couple of little paint spots, so I might go over those with something else, maybe a crayon or a color pencil to get them a little dull. Maybe I'll put some pins up on the characters. I'm not sure what I'll do, but now I could show you my pins. So we'll start over here. Here are Scar and Adult Simba. This is from the Hero and Villain pack. My fiance actually got this for me my last trip in the parks. This is from a Magical Mystery series. They're all bottle caps, and this one was Simba. I got this one in a trade. My sister-in-law gifted me this pin. It's just a cute little Simba. This is from a Hidden Mickey series. I know there's a Pumbaa in this set that I still need to get. Isn't this one really cute? Simba is the king. It's really adorable. It's a Hidden Mickey as well from a Facebook group I trade in. This one I had a trade for as well. It's from the Adventure is Out There mystery pin set. There are two pins in a box in this series, and I got a box that had Rapunzel and Pinocchio in it, but I was able to make a trade for this cute Simba. This one we got from the parks. My sister-in-law actually traded this with another Disney guest. This one I was so happy to get. I thought, I thought it would be forever till I got this. I was able to make a trade on the Facebook group I'm in, and it is a Disneyland Hong Kong mystery pin. They have a mystery pin set, and it's all the characters and lollipops. This is a hidden Mickey I actually purchased, the three paw prints I'm going to show you next. I just didn't get a chance to get them in the park, and someone was selling them for a reasonable price in one of my Facebook groups. I'll link a couple of those groups down below if you guys need some sources to find more pins. Here's Pumbaa from that same set, and Timon. There's also Scar, Rafiki, and I believe the Hyena. This is from a Disney Zoom Zooms mystery pack. I actually traded for both of these guys in the park, so I have Simba and Timon here. This is my only Rafiki pin. I didn't realize how small it was when I purchased it, but I'm gonna keep him because he's my only Rafiki and he is a really cute pin. These are from Shop Disney. I actually picked these up for clearance when I was last at the Disney store last month for the Disney Wisdom release. This is a Disneyland Paris pin of Simba with Timon and Pumbaa and I really love it. This pin was from Box Lunch. It's just Simba. They actually have a lot of nice pins. I really love his pose. It's very adorable. This pin I actually traded for in the Orlando airport right near the end of my last Disney trip. I was really excited when I saw it on a cast member's board. And this is my lowest edition size on this board. This is the limited edition Kingdom Consoles series. This was the Lion King game. I absolutely adore this pin. I'm going to take it down to show you closer. If you look in the top corner, it actually has 94 suns, and that's the year the Lion King came out. I thought that was a really neat feature. The cartridge actually comes in and out of the system. It's a little slider element, and the controller is magnetic. So the controller comes off too. I did a park pickup for this one because I didn't want to miss out. This was the only one I wanted the most from the series. They do have a couple others. I know the Little Mermaid game and the Aladdin game and I think Darkwing Duck. I don't know. I just, I love this game. This is adorable. So those were all my pins and overall I was really happy with this project and I hope it inspires you guys to create your own. Thanks for watching.